Hi, it's me again, the preacher from the Philippines. Continuation of my message. Who is really Jesus? Okay, I have answered your question now, Mr. Apmatic. That if a man will die, who did not accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, that man will surely go to hell. All of you atheists and blasphemers, all of you Jewish people, all of you Muslims, Mormons, Hindus, Buddhists, those who practice Islam, Scientologists, Hare Krishna, Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, Roman Catholic, Church of Satan, Hare Krishna, anybody who died and did not believe in Jesus Christ is surely, are surely going to hell. So, Mr. Repmatic, I hope I have answered your question, my dear viewer. Please, accept Jesus Christ now as your Lord and Savior before it will be too late. Now, who is Jesus Christ? Let me answer this. Who Jesus Christ is indeed. For the Mormons, Jesus Christ is just a created being. For Catholics, Jesus Christ, yes, is God, God the Son, but He is not the only Savior. Mary is called Savior. Mary is also a mediatrix. That's why all of you Catholics, Roman Catholics, will surely go to hell. If you will not acknowledge this great God, Jesus Christ. Okay, for the Muslim, Jesus Christ is just a prophet. He's just like he's just a man, a human being, just like Muhammad. For the Buddhist, Jesus Christ is just like Buddha. Okay, Jehovah's Witnesses, yes, Jesus Christ is God, but a small God. A lesser God, a mighty God. He is not the Almighty God. Okay? Let me explain this to you, to all of you, who Jesus Christ is. Jesus Christ is the Almighty God. Jesus Christ is the creator of this universe. He is your creator. He is your maker. And whether you like it or not, you will face him. You will stand before Him. It will be the greatest shock of your life. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ is the only true Messiah. I'm telling all of you, not unless you will believe, you will all die in your sin. Not one of you will escape, especially you, atheists, blasphemers, and mockers. Okay, let me just uh, answer to these responses that I, sh that I uh, received last week and just this morning. Okay, Chibling. Uh, you have invested so much in this lie of Jesus. Plus, you get your money from it. So, with your livelihood, depends on it. Shame on you, Chibling. I've been telling all of you. I do not do this for money. Nobody's paying me in doing, in doing this. I do this because of my passion. I do this because of my love for God. He first loves me. He changed my life. That's why I'm doing this. Why do you think will I waste my time fighting after bitches? If not only for God. So, Mr. Chibling, I'm sorry to tell you this. My dear viewer, sorry to tell you this. But you are being manipulated by Satan. My livelihood doesn't depend on this. My livelihood depends on Jesus Christ. Please, be advised. 
man, listen. The atheist ate poor Shira, poor Shira. Jews, okay, this is too funny. Jews don't recognize Jesus as the Messiah. Seventh-day Adventists don't recognize Sunday as the Sabbath. Protestants don't recognize the Pope as the biker of Christ. Mormons don't recognize the cross as an atoning work of God. And Catholics <laughs> don't recognize its other at the bar on Saturday night. Yes, I got your point, Mr. Atheist, said Porcira, Porcira. All of you Roman Catholics are blinded, fooled by Satan. I'm sorry to tell all of you this. That unless you will repent, that unless you will acknowledge God and be saved through His blood, all of you are on your way to hell. Your Pope, all of your cardinals and priests and bishops. This number one cult invented so many hellish and diabolical, diabolical uh, doctrines. Oh my, they, in purg they invented purgatory. Purgatory is not in the Bible. The Bible says, through the blood of Christ, we are saved. And when Jesus said, it is finished, our salvation is completely finished. All you have to do now is accept and believe in Jesus Christ. Don't rely on your good works. Mormons, Buddhists, Muslims, and Catholics. You know why? Because no good works will save a person. If good works will save you, then Jesus Christ will not die on the cross anymore. Okay. Uh, not priest pits yon. Go to hell, sir. You serious? Where is Jesus? I told you this. Jesus Christ is just a prayer away. But you don't recognize him. You don't acknowledge him. That's why you cannot feel. You cannot see him. You are all fool in the sight of God. Okay, Jambu White. Go to proper school. You stop wasting your life. <laughs> Jumbo White, you stop waiting my life. Go to hell, my dear viewer. The greatest thing that a man can do is to acknowledge and serve this great God. You see, it's like this. All of you unbelievers believe and listen to me now. You don't believe in God. You don't believe in hell. You don't believe in judgment day. You don't believe that God exists, okay? That's your belief. You are entitled on your own belief. But there will be a faith. Now, the situation is, is like this. On the other hand, I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in hell and heaven. I believe in judgment day. Now, all of you, all of us will die. Okay? As uh, one commented, all of us will go six feet below the ground. Yes, our physical body. Now, just in case, just in case. After that, we will all find out that there's no God, there's no hell, there's no judgment day. But I did not lose anything, isn't it? We will all die anyway. But I am assuring you, there is hell, there is judgment day. Then, on judgment day, you will wake up from hell and face this great God. Then you have lost ev everything, my dear viewers. There is no more second chance. It will be the greatest shock of your life when you see this great God, Jesus Christ, sitting on his throne. No more chance. No more mercy. No more God. I pity all of you. Repent! 